everyone, welcome back to another bullet journal plan with me video. For April, I decided to do the followers control my bullet journal challenge again. I did it last year and it was one of my favorite themes of 2019, so I decided to try it again this year. I did a lot of polls and I asked a lot of questions on my Instagram and this theme is the result of all your ideas. So first things first, the theme for this month is green leaves, however, the theme that won and that had more votes that you would like me to do for April was scrapbooking, but I wasn't feeling that theme and I wasn't getting any good ideas or inspiration when I was brainstorming it, so I asked you what should I do in this situation and you voted for me to do the second most voted theme, which was green leaves. I hate doing themes in my bullet journal when I'm not really feeling them, so I'm glad that you helped me out with this. For this theme, I decided to use my Winsor & Newton watercolor palette since I never use them and you mentioned that you would like to see more watercolor doodles. I'm mixing two different shades of green with some brown to create round oval shapes for the leaves. I love doing little illustrations like this, they are so easy to do and look really pretty at the same time. While that is drying, I'm doing the title and the quote. I'm using my dark green Tomodual brush pen in the number 249 to do the title, and I'm adding some dimension to it using the Muji gel pen in the size 0 0.38. I asked you to give me some quote ideas, and one that really stuck to me was this one. Don't confuse your path with your destination. I used the Muji 0.5 to write it, and I fixed my spelling mistake using the Posca Paint marker. To finalize the spread, I took my Pigma Micron pen in the size 005 to outline the leaves. Moving on to my next page, I asked you to give me ideas for extra page ideas and you suggested a gratitude page or a daily highlights page. And I actually made a daily highlights page last year and it was the thing that made me start journaling and to journal more often after that, so I decided to do it again now. I used the green Pentel Fuda Touch Pen and my stamps and my archival ink pad for the title. I'm having one line for each day to keep my sentences short and straight to a point. To add some more color to the page, I'm using the light green Arteza Twi marker to color in every other line on the page. I love to keep my pages minimal, but to add a lot of color to them so they don't look too plain, but they are still efficient. To make the pages more colorful and fun, I added a bunch of washi tape and some circle stickers around the page. You know that I'm obsessed with my little circle stickers and my washi tape collection. I have a lot of colors and now I just don't miss an opportunity to use them. And I also think that the different shades of green with the little circle stickers and the washi tape really give more life to the theme. Throughout this theme, you will see that I'm going to use more shades of green instead of black because I found that if I switch most of the black on my layouts with color, in my mind the pages look less cluttered. I did this technique for March and it really worked out because I the only black that I had on my pages were my handwriting and some bits here and there from the layouts and I just didn't feel stressed out when I looked at my bullet journal. 
So moving on to my calendar this month, you decided that for this month I would do a big calendar. That was why I didn't do it next to the cover page. So I just did the title at the top and I'm using the light green zebra mind liner from the cool pack to do the lines on the calendar. For the days of the month, I use the Tombow Tool brush pen from before to do some circles in the bottom middle line on each square, inspired by the calendar that I used on the pole. I also used my Univall Signo white gel pen to write the days on top of the green, even though they don't stand out a lot. I created a task section on the right and a goal section on the bottom using the green Arteza Twee marker and the Tombow Fudenosuke hard tip pen. I'm keeping everything pretty simple and easy to set up and for the lines uh, on the leaves I'm not applying too much pressure so the lines can look more realistic and I'm also not caring about the outlines being super perfect. By the way, if you're watching this video the day it comes out, tomorrow, March 22nd, I will be posting this video but in real time, so you can actually plan your month in real time with me and see how much time it takes me to do each page. It's going to be a chit chat relaxing video where I will be making this theme while talking about different topics suggested by you. I really love watching an hour long journaling videos where the artist just talks about different topics so I hope you enjoyed that video as well. Next we have my expense tracker. Last month I tried an expense tracker suggested by one of you but I felt like the problem was that I had too many columns. So for this month's expense tracker, I'm only doing two columns, one for the description and one for the amount, but I'm dividing the tracker into two so I can have more space to write them on. Which was also one of the problems that I ran into because I like to divide my expenses by categories, not by day. To spice it up a little bit, I'm using the Arteza 3 marker again. I really love the fact that these markers come in amazing colors and that they don't fill in the entire line. I think that it looks even better than with the Tombow Dual Brush pens that are a little bit thicker. I use the Pentel Foot Touch pen again for the title and as well as my stamps. I actually don't use the Pentel pens that much because they are kind of dark and too vibrant for some themes, but they are really good quality and whenever I get a chance I try to use them. I love doing smaller and thinner calligraphy with them, so if you're thinking about purchasing calligraphy pens, I highly recommend you try these ones first. Alright, so for my habit tracker, you decided that I should do the individual habit tracker instead of making it on my weekly spread, like I have been doing for the past two months. And I kind of admit that I actually missed not having a page for my habits, so here it is. I'm doing six individual mini calendars without the numbers, just the lines, and I'm going to track three habits and three different moods. I'm tracking my water intake, if I read and if I worked out, and for my moods, I'm going to keep track of what days I felt productive, sick, or tired. Throughout the month, I will color them in with the Arteza 3 markers, and I'm actually posting this spread on my Instagram, so make sure to follow me there to keep up with this page. If you want to know everything that I used for this theme, you can check the description box down below and you'll find links to everything that I'm using.
Next up, we have my brain dump pages. I really enjoyed having two open pages for my brain dump last month, so I could create lists and put here notes and stuff. So I'm doing the same thing here for April. I don't particularly like the words brain dump, so I always try to make a different title for this thread, like a fun title. This time I wrote off your mind on one page and down to paper on the other. It's the same thing as brain dump, but it adds more personality to it. I highly recommend trying an open page or a two open pages um, brain dump page because it really boosts your productivity and it keeps your ideas all in one place. I did just a couple of leaves on the page, but for the most of it, I kept it blank with a lot of space for me to write whatever I need. For my weekly spread, I decided to get out of my comfort zone even more and I did a poll with two different weekly spread layouts for you to choose from. I never tried either of them, so I was down to whatever layout you would choose. You chose the layout where you have a space for events at the top and you have your tasks at the bottom. I never tried this layout and I was really excited to see how it would perform in the notebook therapy Toki bullet journal because this bullet journal is slightly smaller than a regular A5 size journal, the spaces for each day are only 6 squares wide. I don't know how I'm going to feel about these or if they are going to be enough for my tasks and events, but if you're using a regular A5 journal, I think you can do 7 squares wide for each day. I used the Arteza Twee marker for the days at the top and the dark green Tombow Dwell brush pen for the lines. I added a mini calendar at the top to know in which week we are in and next to it I have my tasks section. Then I just add a bunch of washi tape and a bunch of circle stickers to spice up the page. So that was all for my month of April, thank you so much for helping me with this theme. I was able to get out of my comfort zone and to try different layouts and colors. This theme is one of my favorites so far, so I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I do. Tomorrow I will post my real time bullet journaling with me, so I hope you liked that video as well. And I'll see you in my next video, bye guys!